Do you speak to your sister? No. Since when? Since she messaged me on Facebook right after this all started with my mother and told me that she wished I was dead and that I was worthless and I was pathetic. And she had this conversation with you because of the condition that you left the house? She had this conversation <clears throat> with me because when I moved out of the house, Edith and Eric were still there. Every Anything I left in the house was because Edith and Eric asked me to leave it for them. Furniture, dishes, dogs, because I could not take them. They wanted everything. In fact, when Edith told me that she didn't want to move out, period, because she was originally supposed to move out after we did, I told her, I gave her my mom's phone number. And I said, call my mom, you need to talk to her about a lease. Why didn't you talk to your mother? Because I didn't want to talk to my mom. May I see pictures of the house, please? Yes, ma'am. You left all your stuff in the house? No. I left furniture and dishes that I wasn't taking because I was afraid of taking bugs with me somewhere else. And well, I was... Well, then, then you should have disposed of it. I was going to. Edith and Eric asked me to leave that stuff for them. They said they wanted just it. Just a second. Then if what you're saying is somebody else's fault, you should have brought that witness to court today so that I could have questioned them. Right now, all I'm looking at is leaving a house as pigs. That was not how I left the house. Then show me p your pictures of how you left the house. I don't have any of how when I moved out. Right. I didn't take any okay. when I moved out. Good. Now, I have some I want... from prior to that. You have what? I have photos of the house when I moved in the house, and I have photos as I lived in the house to show the... No, I just want to see the house when you left it. I don't care how it was when you lived there. I want to see how it was when you left it. I didn't take pictures. Well, that's too bad. I'd like to see the receipt for the dumpster. The receipt for the dumpster. Oh. I can't tell what the amount is here. Is this six hundred thirty thirty one dollars? Yes, ma'am. What other bills do you have? Cleaner? I have the exterminators bill. I have all the receipts from the chemicals that we bought, and no. I have. You have an exterminators bill. Yes, yes, ma'am. I'd like to see it. The yeah. exterminators bill. Yep. There's this one and that one. Return this to her. 6301175. You have any other bills by a company? Just all the stuff that I paid. Well, these receipts, not by a company, that's from the store. These are my credit card receipts showing all this stuff I repaired whenever there was an issue. And 806, that's, it. that's what she owes you. Judgment for the plaintiff. We're done. Thank you. Why is that excuse? You may step out. The problem with my daughter is that she thinks everybody owes her. I'm done. I moved to Kentucky with my family. My kids are in a safe environment. And that working is a pleasure. That you work when you want to, you don't work because you need to work. They're in a healthy home, without bed bugs, without roaches, without mold. Oh yes, I'm to blame. I'm because I cared about my grandkids and I didn't want to evict them and put them on the street. And I can move on with my life. Enough is enough.